only a sophomore out of Dover, Ohio, but he uh, already their leading receiver on the team. Well, they're going deep to him 10, again. Finds Catini wide open, deep at the 30, the 10, touchdown, Corey Catini. Little, little under five minutes left in this first quarter. So the Wildcats <laughs> offense looks to get something going now. And you, and you know, I don't think they're making too many adjustments on the offense there. You saw that they can move the ball a little bit with the help of a penalty. They kept the first downs going. But still, uh, I mean, that's one bad hit that makes that ball pop out and the other team jumps on it. So if they can do something, take care of the ball. You know, Shea Brown's a smart thrower. He actually has a 11 touchdowns, I believe, for only three interceptions this year. So he, they're doing pretty good at taking care of the ball. Jake Mayon, leading rusher for the Wildcats, doesn't have a fumble yet this season. Mm -hmm. they're, they need to protect the ball, get out there, and this offense can get going. Shea Brown takes a snap, drops back to pass. Finds Aaron Harris, good for the first down and more across the 40, the 35, the 30 for pushing a man as he walks out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. So the offense, the offense for the Wildcats, you can tell they're they're feeling good now. They're they're on a roll. Second and seven now at the Panthers 26-yard line. Shea Brown fakes the handoff to Harris again. Finds his man. That's Ackenlade who holds on to it this time. Good for the first down. And I, I bet that was a play that I can laid wanted to, to get back, you know? He, oh, yeah. he wanted to prove that he's not going to turn the ball over. He wanted to show, like, I can do this for my team. And he was wide open. It looked like Shea Brown was actually uh, looking more inside, but the, it wasn't open, so. Good. Finds his man there, yeah. Good first down. So Akinlade comes off. Mitch Heaton comes back in. Bring up first and 10 for the Wildcats. Ball at the 15, 16-yard line. Hands it off to Jake Mayon on that draw. Mayon gets it across the 15, down or about the 11 or 12. Good four-yard pickup for Mayon. And again, that's right down the middle of, of the field. That's basically running right at the two, two of the best defensive tackles, at least probably the best defensive and, tackle and pairing. It, it didn't really look like they were ready for that one on that draw. They, uh, they're, they're using a lot of good fakes to, to Harris in, in this, this game so far. And, and they do a really good job of using the pass to set up the run, you know, kind of opposite of what most teams do. You know, you, right. you got to get that run game going, but Shea Brown's such a good quarterback. You got to make them fear the pass so these running backs can get their work in. Ooh. Nice run by Aaron Harris there, down at the five-yard line. Good for the first down. Now this is just a hard-nosed run right up the middle. He takes it. It's not fancy. If you look, he lowers his shoulder, hits a couple guys, even takes down one of his own teammates with him there at the end. But that's just a hard-nosed run right up the middle. Great so that'll, play. that'll bring up first and, first and goal from the five-yard line. Shea Brown's joined in the backfield by Jake Mayon. Aaron Harris out right with Paris Woods. And he sends Harris in motion. Fakes the handoff to him, hands it to Jake Mayon, who gets in for the Wildcats touchdown. This is the exact same play it looked like as what they ran two plays ago. Harris in motion with the fake, handed off to Mayon to go right up the middle. This is an offense that can produce, it, it produces quite a bit. It actually produces more points per game than Ohio Dominican does on an average uh, game. And I think now that they got the ball rolling a little bit, as long as they can tighten up that defense, get stop the run a little bit more, we're going to have a better chance to come out here and, and put up another win. They're three and four right now. They're trying to, they're, they're fighting to have a winning season. They, they don't have many options left or many chances left. They have to win these. Yeah, and with, with tough divisional games coming up against Hillsdale and Michigan Tech before closing the season against Tiffin, they, uh, they need to win, win pretty much all of them. I know if, you, if you've listened to Coach O talk, Coach Ostrowski for the Wildcats, he's all about winning. And, and he knows that they're going to lose some games. And they've lost a couple of close games this year. And he's talking about them being resilient and coming back. And it, it's been since 2009, since the last time the Wildcats had a winning season. He's trying to turn the culture around with this football program. And he needs to win these right now.